first season in pro. Um, how much did this was? How much was this different than than juniors were? I think it was so much different. Like many many reasons. Like uh, most of it uh, physical and uh, everything was uh, faster. So yeah, it wasn't easy to to get used to it at the at the beginning. But uh, I think uh, I did a pretty good job. Uh, with uh, uh, help from coaches, and I think I, I had used it uh, at the end of the season pretty well. Obviously, you missed some time at the very beginning of the season before getting back in the lineup. How long did it kind of take you to adjust and to, to kind of you know get used to that learning curve in the AHL? Yeah, the first first couple of months of the season were um, difficult for me because I had uh, issues uh, <clears throat> in the summer, so it took me some time to get a bag and. First day of a regular season, I, I had the surgery, so I was out for another month. So yeah, it wasn't easy, but uh, I, I think I stayed, pa stayed patient, positive, and everything everything uh, uh, was uh, was was good. And yeah, I got back in about a month. Who are some of the guys that maybe were important for you that helped you acclimate, get used to? The team, the league, different things. Like, were there a couple guys in the room that that you kind of could lean on that were that would were, were there for you? Uh, I think everyone. I think we had such a such a good group of guys here. We, we were uh, good friends off the ice. So uh, um, yeah, I I was spending most most of the time with the younger guys, uh, with the other rookies I left with. So. I, I would probably say those guys, the other European guys, but also the guys like Thomas, Tynes, Lias, Carl. They were they were very nice to me. What was it like playing on a line with with Nate Thompson for for a, a while this year? I think he assisted your first goal too. So you know, what was it like playing with him and learning from him? It was great. I I loved it. I think I I learned so much from him, especially in the playoffs, playing with. Uh, such a great player with a long career in NHL, playing with him on the same line in playoffs, which is totally different hockey. I think that helped me a lot, and I can build on that in next season. Coaching staff was pretty complimentary of you as far as working hard, staying late after practice, trying to work on different things. As you kind of start the summer, um, what's your schedule like during the summer? What do you try to do? What are some of the things that you might try to work on uh, as you have some time to, to decompress here? I'll probably adjust my game overall. Uh, obviously, the shot and uh, defensive skills, but uh, also the uh, def defensive part of my game as well. I know that it was a while ago and it was for a very short amount of time, but how much do you look back and you know rely on that very short window when you were here a couple of years ago in 2021. I think it was a great experience for me to be here three years ago because fortunately our season in OHL got canceled, so I had no. I, I played in Slovakia, but uh, it was it was different than playing here overseas. So when I got the invite and had a chance to just be with the team and play, I played two games. I think it was great. For me, I, I've learned a lot, even like last year in OHL, it was uh, very, very helpful for me to see how the AHL level is and what I have to improve to be an AHL player. What was your favorite part about being in LA, being in this area, as opposed to the winters uh, in Canada, not the same when you're up in junior? Yeah, uh, the weather was great. I remember uh, when I was in Kingston, we had this snowstorm almost every other week so being able to go to the beach almost every day it was it was unreal i know you know this isn't i guess particularly a rain question but uh towards the end of the season um shane wright was playing with coachella valley what was it like getting to play against him it was fun i i haven't seen him since last year so just to be able to see him and play with him and talk with him after the game it was it was cool because we played on the same line for three years and uh, now we're playing against each other and hopefully we'll will continue playing against each other uh, in future so yeah it's it's nice to have friends on different teams and especially a friend like Shane 
Uh, when you look at your off season, where do you go back to? I assume it's home, but where's that? And uh, what are some of the things that you like to do to try to get away from hockey for a little bit? Uh, well, I'm going home to, uh, I'm, go I'm joining the national team first uh, this week. So I'm going to battle for a, for a world championship spot first. So that's, uh, that I'm really excited for that because uh, I'll probably play my first national team pro game in my hometown so that'll be really cool and after after that probably just take some time time off or go for a vacation with my family somewhere spend time with my friends and family and then uh, start working out skating and getting ready for next season well you just touched on a national team i mean you said obviously it's gonna be cool uh give us a rundown of how you found that out and uh, maybe do you know anybody else on the team? Uh, what's, what's, uh, how quickly does that, does that come about? Uh, yesterday morning I woke up, I had a text from my agent. He said, be ready because somebody from the national team is going to contact you. So uh, in about a minute, a GM from the national team called me and asked me uh, if I would like to join the team and uh, battle for, for a spot. So. I, I said, yeah, of course, I'll, I'll try to get back to Slovakia as soon as possible so I can be with the team and play as many games as I can and show the coaches that uh, I can be a part of the team. So yeah, it was very, very quick. I found out last morning and tomorrow I'm, I'm flying back home tonight.